Welcome to Maths Easy. Hello friends, as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels, I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to solve chapter rational numbers of class 7, exercise 4.1, question number 8. So if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of class 7, the chapter's names are integers, fractions, decimals, linear equations and earlier questions of rational numbers. You can go by the playlist where all the links are available. Moreover, I have solved many chapters of class 8 of same publication house. That is Goel Brothers. The chapter's names are rational numbers, exponents, square and square roots, cube and cube roots, algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, playing with numbers, linear equations in one variables quadrilaterals, probability, percentage and its applications, service, area and volume. So all the links you can go through the playlist of the channel. So let's not to waste further time. Check it out how to solve question number 8 of exercise 4.1 rational numbers chapter of class 7. Publication house Goel Brothers. So in question number 8 we have been asked for arrange the given rational numbers in a descending order. Descending order means first write down the largest rational number, then the smaller, smaller and smallest. So here first part is given as what? 2 by 5, 11 by 30, 71 by 15 and 31 by 20. So for that, we have to equate the denominator. So we will take the LCM of all the denominators all along. So take the LCM. 5, 30, 15 and 20. So 5 ones are 5, 5 6 are 30, 5 3 is a 15, 5 4 is a 20. 2, 3 is a 6, 2 2 is a 4. Now 2. 1s are, 3s are, 3s are, 1s are. And 3. So LCM is coming out to be as 60. Now equate the denominator. First we will write 2 by 5. So it will get multiplied by 12 by 12. So as to make the denominator 60. 24 by 60. Now 11 by 30. 2 into 2, 60 and 22. 71 by 15, 4 into 4, 60 and 284. And last, 31 by 20. 3 by 3, that is 60 and 93. So arrange the given numbers as no number is given uh, in the negative form. So first of all, the largest number would be 284 by 60. Then smaller is 93 by 60. Then smaller is 24 by 60. And the smallest is 22 by 60. Now 24 by 60 means 17, 1 by 15. Then 93 by 60 means 31 by 20. Then 24 by 60 means 2 by 5. And 22 by 60 means 11 by 30. So hope all, all the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. Now let's move to the second part. So second part is given as what? Second part is given as minus 5 by 3, minus 15 by 4, minus 2 by 9. LCM 3 4 and 9. Take the LCM. 
3, 4 and 9. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. Again 3. Again 4. So LCM is coming to, out to be as 36. Now equate all the denominators. Now minus 5 by 3. 12 by 12, 60, minus 15 by 4, 9 by 9, minus 135, minus 2 by 9, 4 by 4, Minus 8 by 36. So again, equate the number. So here, largest number is minus 8 by 36. Minus 60 by 36 and minus 135 by 36. Now write it in its original form. Minus 2 by 9 is greatest. Minus 5 by 3 is smaller. And minus 15 by 4 is smallest. So it was all about part 2 of question number 8. If facing any type of doubt, feel free to ask your doubts. I commenting into the comment box. So it was the answer. Now let's move to the third part. So third part is given as 65 by 12 minus 13 by 4 and minus 9 by 3. So LCM of 12, 4, 13. Take the LCM of 12, 4, 3. So 3, 4 is a 12, 3, 1 is a 3, 4, 1 is a 1 is a 1 is a. So LCM is 12. Now equate the numbers 65 by 12 into 1 and 1, 65 by 12. Minus 13 by 4. 3 by 3, 39. And minus 19 by 3, 4 by 4. So minus 76 by 12. Now, first of all, 65 by 12 is the greatest. And minus 39 by 12 is smaller. And minus 76 by 12 is the smallest. Again, 65 by 12 is the greatest. Then minus 13 by 4. And the smallest is minus 9 by 3. So it was all about part 3 of question number 8. This is our answer. Let's move to the part 4. So part 4 is given as 17 by 10, minus 19 by 5 and minus 31 by 20. Now take the LCM of 10, 5, and 20. 5 to the 10. So LCM is 20. Equate the denominator now.
minus 19 by 5 4 by 4 minus 76 and minus 13 by 31 by 20. into 1 by 1 equal to minus 31 by 20. Now, write the given number in the descending order. So, minus 31 by 20 minus 34 by 20 and minus 76 by 20 means minus 31 by 20, minus 17 by 10, and minus 19 by 5. So, those are ones. Let's move to the fifth part. So, fifth part is given as what? Minus 4 by 15, minus 7 by 5, and 23 by 20. Take the LCM of 15, 5, and 20. Five threes are 15, ones are 5, ones. Sixty. Where is the number? Minus seven by five. Twelve by twelve. Minus eighty four. And twenty three by twenty. Sixty. So it is a nine theta sixty-three. Now first of all sixty-nine by sixty is the greatest, then minus sixteen by sixty, and minus eighty-four by sixty is the smallest number. So twenty-three by twenty. Minus 4 by 15 and minus 7 by 5. So it was all about fifth part of question number 8. This is our answer. Let's move to the last part. That is the sixth part. So sixth part is 15 by minus 7, minus 11 by 4, and minus 5 by 2. Same process will be followed. LCM of 7, 4, and 2. First, make bring this minus or negative sign from the denominator to the numerator. So it will become minus 15 by 7, minus 11 by 4, and minus 5 by 2. So LCM is 7, 4, and 2. Seven. So LCM is 28. Equate the number 4 by 4. Seven by seven. Minus five by two. Fourteen by fourteen. 
so first greatest number is this is 17 So first, greatest number is minus 60 by 28, then minus 70 by 28, then minus 77 by 28. Means minus 15 by 7, minus 5 by 2, and minus 11 by 4. So, it was all about question number 8 of exercise 4.1, chapter rational numbers of class 7. The question was on arrange the rational numbers in descending order. So if any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. In my next video, I will be solving rest of the question of same exercise. So thank you so much.